Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the surface area of prisms. So to begin with, what exactly is surface area? Well, surface area is the total area of a 3D object in which you find the separate areas of the 2D objects in the 3D object and then you add all them together to find the total area, which is going to be the surface area. So what I mean by that is, if you take a look at this prism, for example, which is a rectangular prism, we see that there are different rectangles in this prism, which are all 2D objects. So we have this rectangle, which is slightly larger than this one, and there are four of these because a rec this a rectangular prism has six faces, right? So on the two sides and top and bottom, we have one we have four rectangles and then on these two sides we have two other rectangles which are of different measurements so we need to find the areas of these rectangles and then add them together to find the surface area so let's go ahead and do that so we know that this rectangle is is the same one that we have on those two sides and top and bottom so they're gonna have the same area so if we find the area of this one we will know the area of the other three so here we have been given the measurements of 4 inches and 6 inches. 4 times 6 is 24 inches. So that means the area of this rectangle is 24 inches squared. So this rectangle, which there are 4 of these, has an area of 24 inches squared. Next, this is a smaller rectangle, so we'll just write S rectangle for a small rectangle which we have two of those, so we have one over here and then one on that side. So these have a measurement of four inches and three inches, which is four times three is 12. That means they have a measure area of 12 inches squared. So now that we know the area of these rectangles, we need to first see that the big rectangles, there's four of those, right? And each of those has an area of 24 inches. So we need to multiply 24 by four to find the area of all four of these huge rectangles, okay? So 24 times 4 gives us 96. So we have 96 inches plus we have 12 times 2, which is 24 inches. 96 plus 24 gives us 120 inches squared. So this is the surface area of this rectangular prism, 120 inches squared. So it's not really that hard. All you have to do is find the separate areas first and then add them together to find the total area, which is the surface area. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at this triangular prism. So here we see that we have in a triangular prism, obviously there are two triangles, one up here and then one in the back, and then we have two rectangles that are on the sides and then the base which is also a rectangle. So in this particular triangular prism, the triangles are obviously the same, they both have the same area and these two rectangles on the sides also have the same area, but the one on the bottom has a different area. So we're gonna have to find the area of all of these and add them together to find the surface area. So first let's find the area of the triangles. So the triangles which are two of those, so one over here and one in the back. The area, we will have to find it. So the height here is given as four meters and the base is three meters. So remember, in order to find the area of a triangle, it's gonna be half times base times height. So three times four is 12 and you have to multiply that by one half, which gives us six. So it'll be six meters squared. And for this rectangle, is 5 meters by 7 meters which is 35 meters so this rectangle there's two of those so 5 by 7 is 35 meters squared and then the base which is also a rectangle so I'll write this as B rectangle for base rectangle it has a width of 3 and a length of 7 so 7 times 3 is 21 so 21 meters squared. So now that we know the area of each of these two op 2D objects in this three-dimensional figure, we can go ahead and add them. But, be but before we do that, we have to multiply 6 by 2 and 35 by 2, since there's two triangles of the same area and two rectangles of the same area as well. So 6 by 2 is 12. So we have 12 meters plus 35 
times 2, which gives us 70 meters plus 21. So I will go ahead and use the calculator in this case. So we have to add 12 plus 70 plus 21, which gives us 103. So our total area will be 103 meters squared. And this is the surface area of this triangular prism. So this is how you find the surface area of 3D objects, and this was only for prisms. We have upcoming videos on spheres and pyramids as well, so please watch out for those. And we will see you guys in our upcoming videos. Bye!